So we recently uh, were invited to publish in Delta on a transaction and it's a special issue. And we decided to talk about the chromium-2 complex and its reactivity. So in this paper, we focus on the design of the synthesis uh, and the reactivity of a very rare example of a monomeric uh, CISO geometry complex of a chromium-2 bis alkoxide. So um, in our study, we were mot motivated by the fact that uh, chromium, low coordinate chromium-2 complexes are pretty reactive. Uh, and the fact that a monomeric chromium-2 in the bis alkoxide environment are quite rare and the reactivity are not very well explored. So, um, having in hand a very well-defined chromium-2 system, we were able to investigate its reactivity with carbonyl compounds, both ketones and aldehydes, uh, to form the dilate uh, complexes. So that was our first part of the paper. We would discuss those dilate complexes um, and those are like complexes, what they can do is they can serve as a model uh, for, uh, the, uh, for the chromium uh, chloride uh, pinacol derived uh, reactions. Uh, so in the second part of the paper, we talk about the reactivity of this chromium tubus alkoxide complex with carbon dioxide, which is pretty interesting because once the chromium um, to react with the carbon dioxide, they form interesting uh, dimeric uh, chromium two paddle wheel complexes. There are many interesting aspects of our study, and one of which that I believe is very cool and interesting for someone to check out is that the method in which we characterize our complexes, and um, we use an X-ray crystallography to characterize our uh, complexes, and in the paper that we just recently published, we have uh, many examples of these structures that we characterize, so they're pretty cool to look at. What, but what's actually very interesting to me is you spent a lot of quality time making all of these metal complexes uh, with different and variety, variety of colors, whether they're in, in solid state or in solution. But actually what's fascinating is you're not only making these complexes, but you are able actually to look at the molecular in which you're making. So I think that's um, pretty interesting. So um, in general, chemistry focuses on solving the problems, and one of the or one of these problems is that of the activation of a small molecule, such as the carbon dioxide. So to save both energy and time, catalysts have been used actually to approach these to approach these problems. Uh, now, catalysis is usually used um, for the production of the fuels and cheap. Uh, valuable organic compounds and also these catalysts are sometimes hard to make so in our lab what we do is we work on finding and designing a new efficient catalyst for the activation of carbon dioxide and other uh, small organic compounds so our research is unique um, because we work on the um, bond activation and bond formation using low cost efficient catalysts. So in our research uh, we try uh, to use readily available abundant first row metals to synthesize our precursors. Now those precursors uh, are low coordinates so they need to be stabilized by ligands and the ligands that we use are simple and easily synthesized alkoxide ligands. So in our research, we don't only focus on the coordination chemistry of these transfer metal complexes, but our complexes are known and specific to be very reactive, and in fact, they are capable of a rare reactivity uh, under a very mild conditions.